sixth edition of our online video performance for Limerick Jazz Festival 2020. Tonight we feature a most amazing guy in many ways because he has been part of the educating of young kids in jazz music for the past 20 years. He is also a fantastic arranger, uh, composer and a really really great guitar player. His name is David O'Rourke, he's based in New Jersey and he is going to be joined by Seth Abramson. And Seth Abramson is a guy who has been booking some of the major acts for the Jazz Standard in New York. Seth himself, a really, really great guitar player. And it's so cool to have these two guys together to play a lovely set for us. So sit back and enjoy David O'Rourke and Seth Abramson. Good afternoon or evening in Ireland, I believe it is, on Thursday evening. Uh, I want to introduce my duet partner here, Seth Abramson. Good evening. So we want to thank John Daly and the committee of the Limerick Jazz Festival for inviting us to be part of this very special um, combination of uh, a live performance. I know you're having live music, which is very exciting. And we're very honoured to be among the artists asked to contribute virtually. So since I've already let out one secret, uh, we're going to let out another one now with this next that tune that we're going to play. It's uh, uh, called Secret Love. Thank you. 
Secrets out now. <laughs> Secret love. Uh, old folks, we were both asked to do this uh, for, by John, right? John Daly uh, sent us a yeah. special request. Yeah. Two,
and you probably think what's he doing on the Limerick Jazz Festival <laughs> but uh, Seth has his own Irish connections don't you Seth? I very much do I, I've i been to Ireland I've been to Dublin and elsewhere in Ireland and it's just a really amazing beautiful country that I look forward to getting back to as soon as possible um, but I do through marriage um, my wife is a uh, Good part Irish, and uh, actually we have, we have family over in Ireland, and uh, we visited um, with them not that long. Well, now a few years back, I guess. So. The last time he, he was there, um, you know, you get the ping that you got a message or some a text. I look up and there's a photograph of a pint of Guinness, and it was taken in JJ's, oh, yeah. I think. That might not be the last time you were there, but it was one of the, might have been the first time you were there, you sent me 
a photograph of a plant of Guinness from JJ's. Yeah. Which I said, yeah. how did you find JJ's on, you'd only one day at that stage you were in Dublin. Yeah. But, well, again, uh, got the guy, I learned the Irish hospitality real fast because the, they bring up, uh, my family had a, had pints already there at the table when we got there to, to meet them. <laughs> and then before, we're not even halfway through a pint, another round of pints are coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so this, Next selection we like to play is to feature uh, David O'Rourke, my partner in crime here, um, on this beautiful Jimmy Van Usen and Sammy Khan. Sammy Khan. Yeah. Uh, tune entitled "It Could Happen to You." That's, I think that means sending some sending some Irish good luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Can you imagine this? Seth was uh, asked by the great Houston person, you know, this is like Frank Sinatra asking you to write a song for him, when the great, somebody famous for their interpretation of ballads, uh, uh, phones you up and goes looking for a tune. You take it from there, Seth, because uh, well, anytime I try to think about yeah, that, it's uh, you, um, yeah, beautiful saxophonist who's had a long, incredible, beautiful career and is still going strong at 85 years young now, um, and it's touring like crazy pre-pandemic and. Uh, Hopefully be back touring. In fact, he's been doing some gigs even uh, during the pandemic, some live streams and stuff I saw him do at Birdland and elsewhere. So, um, but anyway, yeah, he uh, it was a great thrill and honor when he asked me to compose a, a ballad for him. He's one of the one of the great great ballad interpreters in the in the music ever, I think. Um, and uh, so it was thrilling and daunting <laughs> at the same time. So, um, and I was, I actually wrote a, a number of tunes and, and uh, kept feeling like it wasn't the one yet. And he kept calling, where's my ballad? Where's my ballad? And he had a record date coming up and he's like, oh. gonna, <laughs> gonna miss the deadline here. So uh, more or less, I'm paraphrasing. But yeah, and finally I came up with this, this song um, uh, idea and melody and titled Something Personal as in a play on his last name and it ended up becoming the title track for the recording something personal um which uh of course was even a, was another great honor um so thank you houston and uh we hope you enjoy this something personal and i just gotta make an adjustment here for sound i'm looking for on this tune um which harkens back to uh it's called the tremolo. It, it uh, sort of brings volume in and out. And uh, Wes Montgomery and used it to great effect in his ballad playing. And it just feels right for uh, for this tune too. So uh, and John Davis said, little... make sure Seth uses that. Like yeah, that. that's what I heard. So uh, let me just check that out here. So as you can see, yeah.
that's the tune John and I were talking about on the Daily Blast for anyone who was listening in. Something personal. A beautiful tune, said. Thank you. Um, you're the guy who's really good about the birthdays. You know everyone, all the musicians that have birthdays coming up. You just told them, you dropped one on me here and you're on, right? Yeah. Uh, another one we thought we'd uh, need to touch upon, especially because he's thankfully still with us. The great Sonny Rollins just recently turned 90 years young. We're so fortunate, is what I can say, to, to still have him here with us. And even if he's not playing uh, at the moment, um, he can still be inspiring with just what he shares with respect to his knowledge. So uh, we wanted to close out with a uh, great classic of Sonny Rollins that uh, many have played, but uh, his Calypso called uh, St. Thomas. Right. And uh, I'd like to just say a, a great thank you to uh, the Limerick Jazz Festival, John Daly, and everyone involved with putting on this festival for, for inviting us. It's a thrill to be a part of this festival. And we hope uh, we can do it again and be there with you in uh, Ireland and in Limerick itself next time. And uh, David wants to say anything else as well. Yeah, I'd like to echo um, Seth's, um, you know, saying thank you there. Uh, same on behalf of me to, um, to include us in this. It was very exciting to be part of it and just to wish everybody well and to stay safe. Why don't you set this one up, Seth? Since your name is Seth, why don't you set this one up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before I make any more bad jokes. <laughs>
Yes, sir. And thank you, everybody. Thank this you. was an honor to do this. And Seth Abramson on guitar. David O'Rourke. I, I, I hear the thunder sound of applause. Yeah. I'm very needy. I need to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We hope you enjoyed it. And we sure know there's a lot of incredible music happening at the Limerick Jazz Festival this year. So hats off to uh, John Daly for putting together a great festival at a trying time. So thank yeah. you again. And we'll see you soon, we hope. Thank you. Thanks, Seth.